in our last video, we talked about verbs and how verbs are the actions in our sentences. That's what the subject does. So today we're going to talk about adverbs. Adverbs are what make our sentences have lots of details. Um, they're pretty important. For our basic under understanding of adverbs today, we're going to look at this definition and take it for what it is. We're going to add to it later on. Adverbs are words that describe the action. So adverbs describe verbs. See what I did there. So they can describe verbs in a few different ways. The first one we're going to talk about is how. Adverbs can describe how an action takes place. So Jason quickly read a book. Who's the sentence about? Okay, Jason. What did Jason do? Well, Jason read. How did Jason read? He read quickly. So quickly is the adverb that describes how Jason read. Adverbs can also describe when an action takes place. Emma left early. Who is the sentence about? Emma. What did Emma do? Emma left. When did Emma leave? She left early. So early is the adverb that describes when Emma left. So adverbs can describe how an action takes place. It can describe when an action takes place. It can also describe where an action takes place. So Sue and Bob played here. Who is this sentence about? Sue and Bob. What did Sue and Bob do? Well, Sue and Bob played. So Sue and Bob is our subject. Played is our verb. Where did they play? They played here. So here is the adverb that tells where Sue and Bob played. For your adverb assignment today, you typed your first and last name. Hopefully you already watched the introduction to adverbs here and answered your bonus question. Um, and then we get to part two. And this is where you actually show me a little bit of what you understand. Um, and an action verb is capitalized in each sentence below. So I found the verb for you. You're welcome. You need to choose the adverb that describes the action verb. Look at the sentence. My nephew ran excitedly into the ocean waves. Okay, well, who is the sentence about? My nephew. And what did he do? He ran. That's the action verb that I have um, identified for you here. I need to know how he ran, when he ran, or where he ran. So in this particular sentence, my nephew ran excitedly, tells how he ran. I want to make you aware of something. What does the word excitedly end with? L-Y. Not every verb ends in L-Y, but words that end in L-Y 99% of the time are adverbs. Okay, so my nephew ran excitedly. I'm going to choose excitedly. Excitedly tells how he ran. This is not a true sentence. Don't panic. Tomorrow we will take a test. Who is the sentence about? We. That's the subject. What will we do? We will take. That's the verb. How will we take? It doesn't say. Where will we take? It doesn't say. When will we take? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the adverb that shows when we will take a test. Okay. Um, you're going to continue. I'm going to see if I can get you another one down here. Um, I carefully glued the last piece to the, mo to the model, like a model airplane is what this means. I carefully glued the last piece to the model. Okay. Who's the sentence about? I. I'm the subject. What am I doing? Well, I glued. Past tense. I glued. Um, how, when, or where did I glue? Look at this L-Y word. I carefully glued. That tells how I glued. Okay. Most of the time, you'll notice that the verb and the adverb are actually right next to each other. Carefully glued. 
get back to the top here. Um, ran excitedly. So sometimes it's before, carefully glued. Sometimes it's after, ran excitedly. But sometimes they're not touching. In this case, it was true. We will take a test when we go back to the beginning of the sentence. Tomorrow we will take a test. Um, here's what I want you to be very careful of. The bird circled lazily in the sky. Who is the sentence about? The birds. What do the birds do? They circled. Okay. Now, how did the birds circle? Here it is, lazily, and it ends in L-Y. But if you ask, where did the birds circle? Well, they circled in the sky. Here's the problem. This is a whole prepositional phrase, and it has to work all together to answer the question, where did the bird circle? And if you'll notice, in your answer choices, they're not together, and you can only choose one. So the only um, adverb that works that's listed here as a complete adverb is lazily. Okay, we're going to get into prepositional phrases and how they work. So right now, you need to make sure that if the answer is in the sky, in the sky is one answer. And it's not here. So that can't be the answer I'm looking for. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, email me. I'll help you figure this out. All right, go do this part and I'll see you again at the next section.